Let's take a look at a stationary pontoon boat that is fitted with a patent pending hydrofoil kit hypothetically hanging from a thread. There is precisely one point where the thread must be attached where a pivot could be located to balance the pontoon boat at the center of gravity or CG. Now let's replace the thread or pivot by the lift vector representing the total center of lift produced by the varifoil wing. In rather the same way that CG weight is considered to act through one point, so too does lift through what is called the center of lift or COL. In this hypothetical case, the COL exactly coincides with the CG. The pontoon boat is balanced and there are no residual pitching moments. But if the COL moves after the CG or a person walks to the front of the boat, then a couple is formed and the pontoon boat will tend to pitch nose down. And if the center of lift is forward of the CG, the same couple is formed and the bow rides trimmed up. For this reason, the varifoil is typically mounted slightly forward of CG. With a slight imbalance or pitch up in the bow, we need to provide an extra force to help level the boat for an efficient ride. This force is provided by the Veriplate pitch control plate that acts like a horizontal stabilizer of an airplane. This large, rigid, patent pending accessory plate is mounted to and supplements the trim tilt switch of the outboard motor. The outboard motor is trimmed down, the Veriplate pushes the bow down. The outboard motor is trimmed up and still producing maximum thrust, the Vera plate pushes the bow up. The Vera plate's angle of attack is therefore constantly adjusted to provide a downforce or upforce, whichever is needed. This overhead view shows the difference of a standard outboard motor plate in gray versus one equipped with a Vera plate in yellow, which has a much larger footprint for pitch control. The Vera foil kit is essentially designed to keep a level ride with constant weight changes and CG movement in your boat while underway.